Hey everyone, Lotus Prince here. As you may have noticed, I've been away for a little over two weeks at this point. I really don't like to do that. I try to keep about a week between Let's Plays and have a regular rhythm going so people know pretty much what to expect from me and approximately when. I'm, I'm really all about habits and patterns, so breaking it's frustrating for me, not to mention because I've been so regular with very few exceptions uh, over these past three years, anyone who watches me on a regular basis is, uh, I guess, accustomed to me following that schedule. So I do apologize for not doing so. There are two reasons for me not doing so. Number one, my job. I've had lots of grading to do for the past week or two, just kind of all at once. It's getting toward the end of the semester, so it's been just a big load of work I have to do, so that's taken up a lot of my time. The other reason is that White Day was my 49th Let's Play, which means that this next one coming up is going to be my 50th. 50 is a big deal. I've been doing this for three years now, so I finally hit the big 5-0. I'm very excited about it. Uh, now, that being said, I've actually been, this is the second reason why I haven't been around, I've been taking this time to create a new intro sequence for myself. Finally time I updated it. The last time I did a new intro sequence was for the 20th Let's Play, Fatal Frame 4. And that was special because it's number 20 and because Fatal Frame 4 is such a big deal. You don't see that every day. Well, this next Let's Play, obviously 50, is a, is a big deal. And this game I'm going to do, it's more common than Fatal Frame 4, but as I indicated at the end of the White Day LP, this one has been requested for a while, so there's still high anticipation for it, including for myself. That said, because I've been busting my ass on these two things, two things, um, I have not actually recorded game footage yet. Not that that takes too terribly long. My half hour clips take half hour to record, I just have to render them. So I can probably knock out a couple sessions of that in one session, if that makes sense. A couple installments worth in one session. So that'll be easy to do, I just have to do it. So once I finally get my act together and I get everything set up to actually record this stuff and assuming it records properly, I think it should. I always say this and it always works out, but I want to cover myself in case it doesn't. So assuming everything works out nicely, I ought to have this up relatively soon. So I'm going to put on my next game reveal video later. Uh, hopefully within a few days. Shouldn't take too terribly long to put this thing up. I got the footage for that. I just need to put that together as well. Hopefully I can make it decent. Um, in other news, I still have not played Bioshock Infinite yet, so no spoilers for that, but one thing that's kind of been bugging me now that I've played it, um, you might have heard me talk about Bioshock 1 once or twice. I certainly mentioned it in my System Shock 2 Let's Play when I say that it is the same game. Which means it's good, but I mean, I was able to call the plot twist literally within like a half hour of gameplay. Not even joking. I played the game a decade ago. It was called System Shock 2. What do you want? Bioshock 2, though, I didn't know what to think about it before I started playing it because I've I heard a lot of negative things about it. Oh, it's very linear. You don't get to wander around Rapture as you could in Bioshock 1. You couldn't go backtrack. Also, you're playing as a big daddy. I don't know if I like this. Also, a bunch of the characters in the first game are dead because it's a sequel. So, ooh, like what's, what's going to happen with this? I don't know if I'm happy about this game. But I was personally thinking, you know what? I don't care. It's not System Shock 2 a third time, so whatever. I won't be able to call everything as it happens, so you know what? Sign me up. So I played it, and then I thought the game was freaking awesome. Why the hell do people hate it so much? Seriously, like, I actually don't know. I'm not even going like, oh, well, it might not be as good as the first game, but oh, come on, guys, lighten up. Like, I, I don't understand why people dislike it, like, at all. Maybe the linearity. I can kind of buy that. If you liked more open world exploration, fine. But that doesn't make you like hate the game. This isn't like Final Fantasy XIII where it's literally a hallway. You could wander around in the areas you were in, you just couldn't go back to those areas once you clicked the go to next area button. So I, I don't understand. The gameplay was better. Even the controls were better. The, um, what do you call it? Like the med kits went from a face button, which I thought was just ridiculous, like press B to heal. Really? You couldn't find a better use for a face button? So it went to D-pad right. Thank you. It was little things like that. The gameplay was better. The, the combat felt generally better. 
I will admit there was not much more of a enemy variety. In fact, were there were there even any new enemies? You had the same kinds of splicers. That I can see being a complaint. The final boss wasn't corny as hell. I gotta admit, even System Shock 2's final boss, it was like, ah, I appreciate that you want to make it big and bad, but this kind of is a disconnect from the entire rest of the game. It's like Dead Space 1. You're fighting all these baddies, and then the boss is this skyscraper, and you're like, well, I, I know why you'd want to do that, but it doesn't feel right. So Bioshock 1 and System Shock 2 both had that problem. Bioshock 2's final encounter was handled much better, in my opinion. And you still got the political intrigue in the form of audio logs. That was kick-ass. So, I don't I don't get it. I freaking love the game. And I played it some... Oh, what was that DLC called? Minerva's Den. That was awesome, too. I, it was a lot of fun. I think it was... Well, I don't I can't really say it was better than Bioshock 1. Because Bi like I've played System Shock 2 before. So I've got this lens when I look at Bioshock 1. Like, this just unoriginality lens. So... I don't know, what do I like better, System Shock 2 or Bioshock 2? Yeah, I'd probably say System Shock 2, and therefore maybe I would like Bioshock 1 a little better, maybe. But Bioshock 2 played better, and its plot was still really awesome. Like, I don't know, anyone who's played Bioshock 2 without dropping spoilers, can somebody please tell me why this game sucks so much? Because I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. But, okay, other, other than that, that was just my latest escapades on video games for my own personal enjoyment. So my next game reveal video will hopefully be up in a few days if I can get my work done and make this happen. And assuming I can record the, the next game properly, I think it'll be something that everyone will thoroughly enjoy. Until next time, everyone.